Good morning, everyone. Today, I got the keys to this 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback. This is the XSE trim, so this thing's pretty loaded up. It's in beautiful blue flame metallic. It's actually one of my favorite colors for this car. It looks really good in it. Let's take a peek under the, in the trunk space here. Got a decent bit, and then you push on this. And you pull up, you got your spare under there with your jack. You have storage pockets on both sides here. Honestly, got a pretty decent amount of room for a little hatchback. The seats fold flat, so if you do need more room, you have it. Yeah, this is a good looking car. It gives you the 18 inch wheels. This back up. Sit in the back. It's actually pretty roomy. The head's, my head's not really, my head's not touching the ceiling just yet. I could tell it's getting close, but it's actually, it's actually pretty, pretty comfortable. The leather seats are really comfy. Got some cup holders here. All right. Yeah, let's. So I'll pop the hood here, show you guys what's underneath. Sorry for the wind, guys. A bit windy today. So under the hood, we got a two-liter four-cylinder. It's not turbocharged. It's just naturally aspirated. It makes 132 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. So. Doesn't, not, doesn't have a ton of power, but this is a little economy car. You're going to be blown away by the fuel economy. Uh, this is paired to the uh, six-speed manual that this has. They also call it IMT. It's intelligent. And I'll show you what that is. I'll show you what the button is in the interior. But, yep, six-speed manual. Uh, fuel economy, you get, around, you get around 28 miles a gallon in the city and around 36 or 30, uh, around 37 miles per gallon on the highway. So very, very economical. And very easy to drive for those of you that are a little intimidated by manual transmissions. The car is an absolute breeze. It's just a good looking car. It's just super sporty. It's got that spoiler up at the top, kind of. It's like a little bit of a lip. And then it has the nice wheels, leather seats. This thing is really nice. Okay. Let's start the thing up here. Put the key in here. We are. All right. So, yep, six speed manual. There is a lockout. You pull up on this little stopper right here and all the way up to the left. And you got a nice backup camera. Yep, you've got automatic headlights, fog lights. You can go through a different couple pieces of information in the middle screen right here. You can see your fuel economy, any uh, any safety features that are turned on or off. It has adaptive cruise control, lane keeping. XSE is the top of the line trim. Oh yeah, see. And you can turn all this stuff on, lane departure. Hold okay. Yep, steering assist, sway warning, sway sensitivity. It's pretty neat. Cool. And then any messages you get. Curious to see what kind of fuel economy we get in this thing. Home screen. It's got a nice size screen here. It'll show you your, uh, your range until you're uh, empty. How many miles. And then any fuel economy that you would do during your trip. Uh, the main menu just shows you your, your audio, which is your, your radio, of course. AM, FM, Sirius XM. You could do Bluetooth if you want. You could also get navigation if you want. Uh, this one doesn't have it, but if you press that, then, you know, the map would pop up if you were to have that package. Uh, you can also do projections. So you can do, uh, you could plug your phone in with a USB, and you can use, like, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, stuff like that. Uh, you have heated seats. You have high and low for heated seats on, on the front seats here. And then what I'll do is I'll show you guys what uh, how to use this. So this, this IMT button is for the intelligent manual transmission. So essentially what that means is as long as that button is pressed... And you'll see IMT lit up in green on the screen right there. So right now, 
while you're driving, if you're, if you're driving this car and you have IMT on, you can shift without using the clutch pedal, which I personally don't like. I like driving with a clutch pedal, but I will try that out very briefly. All right. Oh, a little earbud came out. There we go. All right, let's take this thing for a ride. I'll do IMT in the parking lot. And it's a little bit of a learning curve. Somebody showed me how to use it before. But I think as long as you let up off the gas, I don't have my foot on the clutch. Yeah, it went into second, that's kind of cool. So you have to, I guess the way I did it was I, I'm in gear. When I let my foot up off the gas, I put it in neutral and then back in. Almost like you're double clutching, but you're not using the clutch. It's very interesting. And I think that's why I like using the clutch pedal because I think, for me, eliminating the clutch pedal kind of overcomplicates it in a way. It's so easy to use try this. No. Yeah, I'm trying to... It went out of gear, but it wouldn't go into the next gear. It's very weird. So I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. But apparently if you use it correctly, you can use... You can drive this car without using the clutch pedal. But apparently there's some form of a learning curve to that. Drives great with the clutch pedal. <laughs> I'm also going to reset my trip odometer and my fuel economy for the trip just to see what kind of mileage I can get. Throttle response for not having a ton of power is actually really, really smooth. It's a pretty comfy little economy car. I actually really like how it drives. Didn't really go anywhere yet, but I'm averaging about 25 miles a gallon since I started. Rode the clutch a little bit there because the biting point's very weird. It's like right at the top. Once you get used to where it's at though, it drives great. Clutch engagement's super easy. I can tell the shifter is a little on the taller side, but the throws aren't terribly long.
handles up here. Down to second. Steering super tight. Handles great. Power delivery is actually pretty nice for a small hatchback with a smaller engine. This is actually pretty nimble. Round turns, it's fairly quick. No turbo, so no turbo lag. Yeah, this drives really, really nice, guys. You're looking for a nice economy car that looks good. I mean, if it's available in auto or manual, but whatever your preference is, or if you can find what you're looking for. Now, this is a 19. This does have about 70, about 70,000 miles on it. So something like this, I mean, you're looking, this thing probably was brand new, was probably closer to probably mid-upper 20s, I would say, with the equipment, probably probably mid-20s. Something like this is, is probably in the under-20 category, so probably like 19, 20,000. So a nice little economy car. Got a good bit of features. And honestly, for what it's worth, for the power that it has, it's actually pretty fun. It's very nimble with the short wheelbase. I, I always love the hatchback look.
and to test out the on-ramp power. <clears throat> actually doesn't feel too bad depending on what gear you're in the only thing I would have to say is it's very reminiscent of how the shifting in my Subaru WRX that I used to have feels there's a lot of rev hang which I am not a fan of I mean if you're driving around normally it's fine but if you're obviously giving it a little more gas like that the rpms tend to stay up higher when you shift so it's it, it for some reason they hang there and then they go down like a second or two after you shift it's really weird but uh, here i'll put the adaptive cruise on there we go <laughs> really comfy on the highway It's windy today, so I mean, there's gonna be a little wind noise, but. It's a nice GT, it's really nice. are out today. I haven't sat there in a while.
Cool. Actually, I'll tell you what, I was pretty impressed by this little thing. It, it's got a lot, I think it checks a lot of boxes for people. I mean, this thing's got, the, the color's beautiful, it's got nice wheels. If anybody wants like a lead, like a loaded up like hatchback, this thing is, this thing is really, really nice. Plus you average, you know, 30, 30 some miles a gallon. That's what I, I averaged about 30 point something that whole trip. And that was like some city, some mountains, some highway. I mean, that's, this thing's really, really nice. Real sleek looking. Well, thank you very much, obviously, to Blaze Alexander, Chevy, and Muncie PA for allowing me to do these videos. I appreciate it, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.